Blue 42! Hut! Hut! Hey everybody, I'm Greg Bedard, the NFL writer at the Boston Globe, and, and we are here with former Patriots tight end Jermaine Wiggins. And we are going inside the Patriots playbook looking at the Jets' offense for a change. Normally <laughs> we look at their defense. Yep. Uh, but considering what's going on with the Patriots and what's on film now for them, I, I think, Jermaine, we can expect a lot of teams to take more deep shots down the field. And, and this is a play from the Texans game. Uh, the Jets scored a touchdown on this. Why don't you take us through it, Jermaine? Yeah, this is a play that, the, you know, that, that you'll see the Jets run. And Buffalo ran it against the Patriots and, were, and was able to score on it. They, they use the tight end. They run him down the seam route. Here it is, Cumberland. But, hope you know, in this game you look at, it's probably going to be Dustin Keller. Mm -hmm. And what they do is they run him down the seam route like that. They'll run this inside receiver, which is kind of interesting because you're thinking, all right, maybe they're running and this guy will kind of stay high and just kind of keep backpedaling. And this guy will run with a man to man. But they're going to run the inside route. I believe his name is Schilling. He's yep. going to just run like a little hitch route. And what they're going to do, this safety is now going to come down. It's almost like they're trapping him, playing a double coverage on him. And very odd defense. I don't know why they played it. And what you see is the tight end now run down the seam, and he's running with this, and the safety's running with him. But Sanchez just takes a shot, throws the ball up. Uh, Chain, uh, Cumberland makes a good play, goes up and catches the football. And I think you're going to see a lot of, you're going to see the Jets take advantage of that and saying, Hey, what gives the Patriots problems is when you just throw the football up and play catch because the defensive backs don't do a very good job of turning around and playing the football. I think if you look at in the Seattle game, they were able to hit Zach Miller down the seam on a play. They didn't go for a touchdown, mm -hmm. but he made a play on the football because Spikes wasn't, he, he didn't turn around and play the football. So I think that's something that you'll see. The NFL is a copycat league, and you're going to see the Jets say, Let's try to take advantage of them down the field, just throwing the ball up because the defensive backs, linebackers are not doing a good job of turning and playing the football. Mm. We've seen the Jets in the past when they've offensively when they played the Patriots, they've they've done different things, yep. but they've they've even come out and like spread the Patriots out and thrown. Don't you think that the Jets probably see an opportunity to? They're going to run, but then they're going to want to take play action shots, probably similar to this type well, of play. Well, I think the Jets are going to look at and say. Where is the where is the Patriots strength? That's their run defense. Let's stay away from that. And where is their weakness? That's their pass defense. Why not come out and throw the football? I'll now, tell you why. Yeah, well, I know because it's number that, six is the quarterback. I, I know it's number six, but then you also got to look at number six is the quarterback. But look how Russell Wilson looked against Seattle. So it doesn't matter really who's back there. I think it's more based on the defensive backs that, uh, of the Patriots. And that's what I think you're going to see with the Jets. They're going to obviously come out and run the football because that's what they want to do. But you don't want to keep beating your head against the brick wall, which is that Patriots run defense. Mm -hmm. How do we get points? How do we move the football? Let's throw the football up because clearly they're struggling in that back end, whether it's pass interferences, whether it's big plays. And I think that's the thing that you have to look at the Jets in their game plan. It's all about weaknesses. It's all about we'll it's all about game planning for your opponent's weaknesses. You don't want to run into the Patriots defense, their front four, because that's where their front seven. That's where the success for the Pats defense is run defense. It's about throwing a football. All right. Well, we'll see the <laughs> defense, Patriots secondary is going to be on alert. I mean, people are going to come after him. So we'll have to see how they do on Sunday.